Have you ever thought about what you want to be when you grow up? Maybe you want to be a doctor, design video games, or become the next star. But have you ever thought about why jobs exist? Where do they come from? And who decides what jobs are available? It all starts with something called demand. When a job is in demand, it means there are lots of people needed to do that job. But when there's low demand for a job, there are only a few people needed. So what determines whether a job is in high demand or low demand? History has the answer. Think about jobs that people used to do, like a log roller. Do you know what that job was? People would stand on logs and float them down a river to get them from the forest to the woodmill. But these days, we use trucks to quickly move them from the forest to the woodmill. So there was a big demand for log rollers until the truck was invented. Now that demand is gone, and so is the job. So many of the jobs that are in demand right now exist because of changes in the past. There was a time when farmers used nothing but their hands and a few strong animals to tend their fields. Over the years, machines were invented to help farmers work faster with less effort. But that meant farmhands who worked on farms lost their jobs. At the same time, new jobs were created because farm machines needed people to design, build, operate and maintain them. Understanding where jobs came from and what jobs are in demand today lets us see into the future. This is called a job outlook. Let's use Pizza Night as an example. Have you thought about how pizza gets to your home? Delivery people, right? Some of them drive cars, some use bikes, and others walk to deliver your food. But this job can be tricky. There are lots of other cars on the roads, and they can slow down deliveries. It's a tough problem. How would you solve it? Could you ever imagine that robots would be a solution? In the very near future, robots, like self-flying helicopters, also known as drones, could be delivering your favorite food. Think about it. Because drones fly, they don't need to worry about things like traffic or running into other people. It's so much faster, not to mention a cool way to have your pizza delivered. So by seeing what problems people have when doing their jobs today, and thinking about creative solutions to those problems, you can start to predict how those jobs may change in the future. Even better, you can predict new jobs that don't even exist yet. You could end up building the robots of the future. Now that would be one cool job.